The problem says completing the transition to adulthood is measured by one or more of the following. Leaving home, finishing school, getting married, having a child, or being financially independent. The following matrix shows the percentage of Americans ages 20 and 30 who had completed the transition to adulthood in 2000. So 2% 2 of men age 20 had completed the transition, 6% of women age 20 had done so, 31% of men age 30 had completed the transition to adulthood, and 46% of women age 30 had done so. We will call the matrix above A. The following matrix shows the percentage of Americans ages 20 and 30 who had completed the transition to adulthood in 1960. So this is the same information 40 years earlier, and we'll call this matrix B. It asks us to find the matrix B minus A. So since they're both 2 by 2 matrices, we can subtract them. The way we get the number that goes in row 1, column 1, is we take the entry from matrix B, the entry from matrix A, and we subtract them. 9% minus 2% is 7%. Then row 1, column 2, the entry from B is 29%. The entry from matrix A is 6%. We subtract them, giving us 23%. Moving to row 2, column 1, matrix B has an entry of 65%. Matrix A has an entry of 31%. We subtract those two figures to get 34%. And finally, for row 2, column 2, we take the entry 77% from matrix B, the entry 46% from matrix A. We subtract them, giving 31%. But we're not done. It says explain what this matrix represents. So, so let's go back to the number circled in red. The 9% meant that in 1960, 9% of men age 20 had transitioned to adulthood. Notice that 20 year, excuse me, 40 years later, that figure fell from 9% to 2%. The 7% in our answer is the decrease in the percentage who had completed the transition to adulthood from 1960 to 2000. Is that true for all four entries? Is the 23% the decrease in the percentage over the 40-year period? Yes, it is, because it went from 29% to 6%. So it decreased by 23 percentage points. So. What does this matrix represent? The decrease in the percent who had completed the transition to adulthood from 1960 to 2000. So we've done both parts. We calculated the difference in the matrices and we explained what exactly that told us.